Today's case was spinal stenosis. And spinal stenosis is a situation where the tube around the nerves, for whatever reason, arthritis, disc herniation, bone spurs, or a combination of those things, it shrinks and causes pressure on the nerves. So let's put a spinal needle in until I feel the bone. We're gonna need a 90 by 18. Now let's see what we have. I think a lot of these people also come in who have spinal stenosis and they were doing fine, probably ruptured a disc or had a disc that just protruded a little more and that's probably why they went from asymptomatic to symptomatic. So now we're just dealing with the spinal muscle, getting down to the lamina, confirm the level with x-ray and by whatever means. So now you can just get that exposed and start working up and then from here I work lateral on the lamina. So that's the undersurface of the lamina of three. So now I work up from mid pedicle to the level of the above. And that's what decompresses her. And this is soft tissue. So what I'll do is I'll drill this lamina out for the spinous process. The ligament and flavum right here is protecting me. So it's between me and the dura. So that's the last thing we're gonna take out is the tissue that protects us when we do our work. Which is what I'm doing here. And then across, a little bit at a time here. So this is the complete other side of her spine right here where I'm drilling presently. So over here is the left nerve root and over here is going to be the right side. Kind of fat right here and that's where the flavum's detaching so I'm as far towards the head as I need to go. I need to work lateral on this side but I'm not pushing down on anything with it. You know, it's gentle. I can work up here a little bit. So just go a little more towards the head here. And you see by just repositioning the scope, it kind of opens up a little bit more exposure without having to take a bigger incision. Again, lamina to the spinous process right here. Uh, the flavum, where it detaches from the undersurface here, I just need to detach it basically by getting under this bone here, which is the lateral recess and facet area. This is the flavum and Mostly ligament and flavum in the lateral recess on the right side. Just trying to get lateral to the dura on the right. This lady has symptoms of leg pain, what we call neurogenic claudication. So when they walk a distance, their legs or butt starts to hurt. And that's exactly what was going on with this lady. And then it stoops her all forward because to compensate, the body leans forward to try to take the pressure off of the nerves and stretch all this stuff out. When you stretch it, of course, it thins it. So trying to make more space. And people can usually compensate for a while like that. Lean on a grocery cart at the store or walk a distance and then sit. But then it reaches a point they can't compensate anymore and that's where she was. When non-surgical treatment fails, a laminectomy surgery opens that. The bone out here lateral is the facet joint. You don't want to take too much of that because then it can cause instability. And the level of surgery makes it difficult because the pedicle is just narrow as you go up. So just less space to work. Just so much work. You don't want to take it all out in one hunk because you can take stuff that the patient needs. So it's just kind of a way of doing the surgery meticulously. It's an open surgery, but a very small incision. So it's still minimally invasive, not done with the endoscope, but done with a microscope. So, you know, she's decompressed now at this level. So that all looks good. I'm happy with that. Excellent results. This patient should be back and walking very quickly. Barber Orthopedics and Spine, exceptional care for an active life.